Hello, welcome to Cycling Tips, David, and welcome to another episode of That's My Bike. My bike, I've still not exactly nailed what we're going to call this. Anyway, this week I've got a double dose of bike action for you because I am chatting to somebody who's, well, let's say very handy in the cross world. In fact, she got fourth at the Worlds this year in Ostend, has appeared multiple times on the podium at World Cups and is the US national champion. She is also joining Team Tibco SVB for 2021 to well show what she's worth on the road. If uh, 2019 results are at the Colorado Classic or anything to go by, she should do pretty good. That's right, we are talking to Clara Honsinger. You are riding Candells on the, in the cyclocross world for some time now, and you are now riding Candells on the road as well. You're with Team Tibco, and you're going to run us through the bits and bob that, that you're riding. So for starters, what frame has the, the team delivered to you to race on this season? Yeah, so I put my cross bike away uh, and now I'm on the Cannondale Super 6 Evo, the high mod frame. Very nice. Now, does this ride differently to your Cannondale Cad X, is it? Your Cad... So it, it's the, the Super X that we're Super riding for X. cyclocross. And it does honestly ride quite a bit differently because when you look at the Super X, it has that traditional uh, frame where the seat stays go all the way up to the top tube. Whereas we're seeing with the Super 6, it has the same style of the drop seat stays. And that makes for a much stiffer, snappier, uh, responsive bike. And so it does really feel like when you get up and go on it on the road, it's like, whoa, this is so quick. <laughs> now, what kit have we got going on on this bike with a team then? Yeah, so for road, I'm riding the with the Shimano and we have the Dura Ace 9100. Uh, di2 group set all around for it uh yeah it's excellent is that the first time you've been using that stuff or have you used it before i've used shimano in the past uh but for cyclocross we work really closely with sram which is an excellent partnership but it was really easy just to jump right back on the the shimano group set you're not making any miss shifts because obviously they they do shift differently or I suppose with the dual race, you can set it up to shift just like a SRAM group set, can't you? Well, there are a few number or a few moments on the first ride where you're going the shift to an easier gear and you accidentally just shift the front derailleur. Oh, so let's run through some let's run through some numbers then. What bike size are you riding? Do you know that? Yeah, I believe it's the fifty-one centimeter. So oh, not the, the size up from the small. Crank length cassette chain chain ring sizes all that sort of stuff are, are you geeky enough to know all that <laughs> uh i'll admit i am i think it's a little bit important when you're transitioning from bike to bike to have an idea of what your numbers are so for crank links i run the 170 cranks um uh and i like to have a, a compact standard standard compact so the 52 36 uh chain rings for this video, you sent over quite a few new nice photos of uh, you growing up with bikes, and surprise, surprise, uh, they all seem to be Cannondale. So you must have a bit of a bit of a love for the for the brand. Yeah, so I grew up um, riding the the mountain bike with my dad, and this is actually a Cannondale tandem. Uh, and so we I jump on the back with him, and he'd pedal up to the top of the trail system that where we lived, and then we'd turn around and just kind of bump on down, and then. Uh, my first race race bike, we'll call it, was actually uh, my mom's, one of the original CAD aluminum bikes back in the day when, whoa, getting an aluminum bike was extraordinary. So you got a closer affinity with the brand then, for sure. Yeah, it's been a few years since I had one, but it was really uh, fun to come back to the brand this year. Do you want to run us through a little bit about your, your, your cycle cross setup? Because I'm sure plenty of people here. Uh, be interested about that as well because well we don't often get to talk to fourth place finishers uh, at, at the world and find out what they what they used what we arrived in that day so again we ride the the super x the cannondale super x for that and i believe it's also a 51 centimeter frame with that sizing um i have a, a very unique and special paint job for that i got to work closely with some of the designers at cannondale and uh we came together with kind of this 
uh, Henri Matisse flower paint style that's representative of the the wild flowers of Oregon uh, in the the USA colors, of course. And so beyond the frame, we work with uh, zip uh, components, and so it's all outfitted with uh, zip handlebars, wheels, seat posts. Um, um, and so for handlebars, I, I transitioned this year to a, a 40 centimeter bar. I wanted to try going a bit narrower to see how it helped with cornering. And then for the group set, we're uh, working with SRAM again and running the, the one by setup. Oh, and then for tires. Uh, yeah, that's that's the important one, of course, isn't it? Yeah, everybody wants to know about your tire choice that day. So we're really lucky to have a, a close relationship with Challenge, which makes some excellent uh, tread choices, especially in their mud tires, which were exceptionally helpful for uh, a lot of those Belgian races. It seemed to be a very wet winter over there. Hey, it's your hope. You only get wet winters over here. <laughs> It's been a pleasure talking to you. Pleasure finding out about what you ride. Hey, all, thank you for watching. And if you've got a moment, subscribe or like the channel.